there. Welcome to December Stencil Club. I'm so honored and excited to be here again, sharing my two new stencils with you. And I just wanted to give you a little insight as to how these two came about. So I'm always looking for big, busy patterns because I feel like I can use them in lots of different ways in projects other than the traditional way of just stenciling a single element onto a page. And so when I was rifling through some things that I was getting ready for a party, I came across all these beautiful wrapping papers. And I just fell in love with all of the different patterns that were going on. They were busy, they were continuous, they were repeating, and I really loved that about them. And that inspired me to create something that would allow me to do something similar with the stenciled images. So think about creating the image once, but being able to use that master copy in a lot of different ways. And so I took these, not the patterns, but this idea of this wrapping paper repeating type of style of project and decided to transform that into stencils. The artwork that came about from the stencils turned out really beautiful and it was exactly what I was thinking. Lots of repeats, lots of um, pattern, a busy kind of look, but there was also that element of negative space that I always strive to have because those places allow me to add in my own marks and lines to create something that's more unique to my style, even in, as my style evolves and changes as I'm creating. So each person could take this stencil, use it, and then make it more their own by filling in these negative spaces. And that was important to me too. I'm a big fan of taking big work and cutting it down into more interesting pieces. And so that was another element to these large repeating patterns that I thought about when I was creating them. So when I'm not using the big painted image as a finished piece or a focal point for something, say a painting or something like that, I like to take the original pieces, especially if I'm in love with the color or the way some of the marks or something turned out, and I haven't even added my own marks to these yet because I wanted to show you them in their raw painted state. But I would take a finished image like this and I would scan it or print it somehow. And um, I know there's a lot of flatbed scanners out there. Mine is just a $29 printer that I have an app for that I can scan with my camera and send it to my computer. And then I just print the image out like this. So it's a pretty good likeness. The color changes a little. I'm also a huge fan of tweaking the color in my software. So inverting the colors, that sort of thing. And I'll show you um, how that looks when we're in the project video. But you can just print on, say, cardstock. You could print on deli paper. You can print on anything to reuse these originals in your projects. But as far as cutting them down and making them more interesting for smaller things, say you want to add a piece into your pocket journal or something, you can cut down those elements. And then you can see that just by adding your own marks and lines, it changes that piece into something completely different again. And I like to do this a lot when I'm traveling. So I will take small pieces that I've cut down and you can see while they're reminiscent of the original piece or copy or painting that I made, they are different and they do highlight different parts of the stencil in unique ways just by cutting them down. And here's the leaf one that I've played with the colors and the contrast a little bit to make it a little bit more dreamy. And again, all these pieces look so different and interesting. So I would take something like that and I would tape or glue them into the pages of my journal before I travel or throw a few of them into my art bag. And then when I don't have a lot of time to create on the go, I have this landing place that's already pretty and colorful and I can just come back in with tons of lines and marks and create something that seemed artistic in that moment, even with just such a few supplies. 
The project video that I want to show you today kind of encompasses a couple of those points as far as creating a copy of the image and cutting it down a little bit. And I'm excited to share that with you. So let's hop over and create something together. Mm -hmm. 